Have you already watched The King's Daughter and Redeeming Love, but you still need your bad movie fix? <laughs> Relax, In the Forest is here to give you all the laughs you need. This is a movie where the world's most obnoxious family goes on a camping trip and then has to fight off some other weirdo family living in the woods. Basically, this was the bad movie I thought I was gonna get when I watched that Wrong Turn remake, but then I ended up loving that movie. So here's one that's like, it's okay, this one sucks. When it started with this bickering ass family, I thought these were just the characters that were gonna die in the opening scene. But no, they're in it for the whole thing. I love it when the dad, played by Lyman Ward from Ferris Bueller, gets his arm injured by a rod. And they don't even really dress this thing, and he wakes up in the morning still with blood dripping down his clothes, as if he didn't bring another set of clothes with him. And he's like, oof, I'm tired, I'm gonna lay down for a while. And then he lays down for the rest of the movie. I kept forgetting he was there, until he does come back later, still on the couch. I wasn't really even sure what the deal with this evil family was. We're introduced to them by a guy having a kid tied up and painting his toenails. So I was like, is it gonna turn out that this kid is like a monster or something? I'm still not really sure what's up with this family, because the movie just kinda ends, leaving me there all like, okay, I guess that was a thing. I talked a little bit about this with Last Looks, and here it's the case even more. It'd be one thing if this movie had just one ounce of grit or some grain to it. Then I could maybe be like, okay, I guess this is entertaining enough as the second movie in a Friday night horror double feature. But this movie looks like if Texas Chainsaw Massacre was shot like a TV commercial. That's not creepy or scary. It's so cheap looking, I wondered if they blew most of their budget on getting the rights to play Against the Wind by Bob Seger at the beginning. There's all of these really awkward quick fades that are jarring and like it's about to cut to a commercial break. The death scenes are bad, with many of them either cutting away or having something obscure it. One guy seems like he drowns in water in five seconds, another gets a sock shoved in his mouth, and then there's a bad CGI blood gunshot to the knee. But my favorite part involves a flashback while someone's getting strangled, and I've seen a few comedies this past week, but this gave me my biggest laugh out loud moment of the month. Helen. What do you do when you see a bear? You play dead. <laughs> what do I do with that information? Oh, when the time comes, you'll know. I'll give this movie a D. The villains aren't that good. I didn't care about the heroes. It's too clean looking. There's no good deaths, but it is riffable. I'll give it that. You could watch it and make a lot of jokes in it, which is also kind of important. Okay, check out our review for the Kevin James football movie, Home Team, and we'll be back next week with a review of Jackass Forever. See you next time.